yes so current assets are assets which are satisfying any of the following criteria expected to be realized in or intended for sale or consumption in the entity's normal operating cycle can anyone tell me what's the operating cycle reporting period i believe or uh, no their economic life period no it is does anyone know it is a time that is taken from converting your raw material to finished goods buying purchasing raw material converting it to finished goods selling in the market getting your cash purchasing raw material so this is a normal operating cycle the assets and liabilities on this cycle are said to be current assets so cash is a current asset accounts receivable or your debtors current assets account payable is your current liability okay your inventory is your or your stock is your current assets so these are current assets so here we look at the normal operating cycle so if a company has got an operating cycle of more than 12 months it's still part of your current assets because that's the normal operating cycle another one current asset is also assets held primarily for purpose of trading if you have some investments which is held only to sell those are current assets another one expected to be realized within 12 months after the reporting date so within your accounts receivable items that are recoverable in the next 12 months is expected to be realized in 12 months anything expected to be realized in 12 months so inventory expected to be realized in 12 months is also a current asset of course it also comes under operating cycle but any kind of asset that is coming within 12 months so suppose you have a long term loan it will be split between the current and the non current and the current portion will be shown under current assets amount that is amount of the loan that is payable in the next 12 months is your current liability or receivable in 12 months is your current asset okay so this is a long term advance assets same way cash and cash equivalent which is defined under is seven is also part of our current assets so all these are current assets anything other than this is non current assets so technically non current assets is not defined by the standard only current assets are defined anything other than current assets is non current assets and same way for current liabilities the same definition only current liabilities are defined saying it is expected to be settled in the entity's operating cycle it is held primarily for trading it is to be settled within 12 months after the reporting period or entity does not have an unconditional right to defer the settlement of the liability for at least 12 months after the reporting period. so these are current assets and these are current liabilities any doubts on this definition